Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. Hope you all are doing good. So today's video which I am going to take is on uh, ServiceNow. Uh, to continue our journey of ServiceNow. We are uh, here with again uh, with a new video on one of the other things on uh, ServiceNow. So today what we are going to discuss is uh, UI action. So you know that in the last videos I explained you some basic things of ServiceNow. So this is a continuation of the same uh, process where we will understand a new terminology in service now called UI action. So we will see what is UI action, how it is used and using our example of our, you know, leave management, this application, um, we will, we will understand what uh, this UI action is, how it is used. There are two aspects of it. One is client side and another is server side. We will see both. Okay. So let's get started. So now uh, going on to the UI action before we go and uh, you know proceed with the um, live example the uh, UI action uh, let me give you a basic uh, uh, you know understanding of it so what we will do uh, we will directly go to the UI action and I'll explain you so what exactly is a UI action is that when you are basically you have a record and on that record you want to perform certain operations so basically on the UI itself you want to define certain actions so then on that context this UI action you know works so for example let me go here on the one of the records so this is one of the records I'll open up so uh, there are multiple ways of you know accessing this particular thing but uh, for a particular form if you want to define an action on a, on a particular form you have to open a record then I need to right click configure and then you will get this option as UI actions so now let me go here okay so this is my uh, UI action here uh, sorry UI action table in which I can define my UI action so uh, this if you click here on the new then you will get this form so we will explain this we'll understand this uh, right from the uh, you know um, the naming of this uh, you know particular action so we will understand each of this so now here you define certain things and then there are certain actions which are performed uh, one is that you can uh, define certain actions to be done on server and then there are certain UI changes also on the uh, on your form or table that you can do on your using this UI action so now uh, to continue with the um, you know uh, this process what I have done I have taken an example for example uh, just a minute let me let me go here okay uh, just a minute let me go to the record okay so what we will do um, we will uh, continuing with our example of this you know, leave management application what we will do we will create a new uh, new record in this uh, leave management form and our requirement is that now when I submit the leave it goes to my manager and the manager approves it okay so now we want to give a provision of uh, to a manager to approve it so how we will give this provision to manager to approve this uh, particular leave this we will see in the uh, you know using the ui action there are you know different ways of going for the approval with some advanced uh, you know methodologies which we have to um, which we can use there is a you know other things like uh, uh, flow designer workflows business rules but this is just an example through which we will understand this okay so let me go here and create a new record okay now uh, you can see I will say uh, I'll create a new record applying for leave okay so I need to give this date uh, from which date I need to for example third 3rd of April to let's suppose 8th of April okay so this is just an uh, example leave type in well leave I will define 
additional field on uh, i don't need to put i will say test description and so you can see here we have uh, defined an approval detail section where the approval status is currently pending so what i will do i will submit this and again this is also a read only field so people cannot you know make uh, changes to it so let me just resort this okay this is our record now okay this is what we have uh, submitted now so now you can see the approval status is pending now i need to just give a provision to my manager to approve this slip so what i will do right click here configure ui actions okay so let me just delete this before proceeding with the so this is you can delete this delete an old record here okay now we don't have anything on the form so what i will do now let me create here on new okay now uh, this is a uh, you know form on which you define your ui action first we have to give a name so let me say i will give approve okay so this is the name which i have to uh, which is for a particular ui action then action name also is the name which will be uh, which is the you know uh, proper name for this particular um, ui action and the name will be the name which will be you know available for the uh, user uh, for the uh, you know for the selection so sorry for the uh, for the submission that we will see because this ui action it can uh, you know it will interact with the form using a button using a context menu so that we will see so then you have this uh, active action active means that this is particular action is active okay then show insert show update if you want to show this action in insert then you have to select this if you want to show this action in update we have to select this so we have unselected the insert so we don't want to see this option option in the insert we just wanted to see this in the update that means when the record is already submitted now uh, client will come on this so what we will see first of all we'll see the server action okay so we will not check this one now let's go to the right section so here if you want to define this action as a form button so then you can select this it will appear as a button i will show you that then if you want to see this is a context menu suppose for example this menu you want to define then you have to select this then form link if it will be a link in the form then you can check this okay but we will not uh, check any of these options form style the how the button should appear like primary it will be a blue color button then district will be red and then unstyled it will, it will not have any style this is just the ui of the button so we'll not select anything then list banner button list bottom button list content so these are all the options in which you can add your link or your button okay so from which your ui action can be triggered but as of now we have to just use the server side um, option so i have selected this button form button so it will appear as a button how it will appear that we will see now um, this is active only on update now let's go down okay so uh, we will uh, we will understand the basic things of it as of now we will not go in detail on this messages comments hints so we will understand the basic context of this okay so now the basic thing you have to define is the condition so now you have to understand a field in a form on which you want to define this condition now you know in our form let me go to the form design so in our form i have this approval uh, status field so if i click here you can see this is the name of the approval state so by default this is pending so what i will do i will use this field as a condition let me go back so here i will say i need to define a field so to uh, you know for a, on when you are doing an operation on the current fo uh, form then this is the term uh, you know but syntax you have to use current dot approval status so current means the current form approval status is my field double equal to this is what you have to give double equals then you need to say pending so now this condition will only run or you will be the form button will be visible if the approval status is pending if it is in another state then it will not run it will not you know define it 
so i will say current dot approval status okay sorry uh, i didn't so uh, explain you this part so this is basically a script here so this is a condition on which we we will run this action now how uh, what action it should perform that can be defined here in the script that what action you need to perform so this is just a basic script which i will explain you but there are there are and there is more to it which we can understand in the future videos but as of now this is just a simple example of ui action so in the script section we have to define the script the script is basically a, um, you know a java script which we can define but it is you know in uh, aligned with uh, service now so service now has uh, developed their own script which is uh, like uh, which is a kind of a java script but it is a you know a script which which is which basically the service now server understands okay so there are different terminologies here which is not normally in the java script but it is more of a java script 90% java script and 20% is what uh, you know uh, service now have defined uh, their own functions terminologies okay so i would say current dot approval status equal to so this is what i will define here i will define what i need to um, the the current record approval status i want to set it to approved okay this is the condition and this is what i want to set this to okay and i would say current dot update okay so now only two uh, things i have written here current dot approval state is approved current dot up, uh, update is the um, uh, you know function it will update the current record okay now let me submit this okay now when i submit it it gets saved here and it will be here now how i will see this action let me go again back to my form now let me open my form i think this sorry um, open my record this is my record which i submitted so you can see here there is a button here and there is a button here also so this button is the context menu which um, basically uh, sorry in the menu it uh, works on the server side operations so if i click on this it will perform the server side operations on this currently we haven't defined any client side operations the client side is unchecked so let me go we can use either of the button so let me see what will happen if we have if the condition is fine the script is written properly then it will work so i will say approve okay so i have gone back to my record let me open it so it is still pending still pending now uh, what i need to do i need to check i need to debug my uh, UI action. Okay, so let me go back, open it. So, sorry, it's taking some time. So let it open. Okay, so here, I think the mistake which I have made. It's here. so i have when i am setting the value it's only one you know equal to i have to use i have used two twice i think that's a condition so i would update this or let me save this so the difference between this and this is that it will i will stay on the record if i right click and save and if i update it will go back so now let me open uh, again my record okay this is my record here so let me uh, approve it okay now you can see the record is approved the approval status has changed to approved and you can see on the top and the bottom the field has been disabled or it is not visible now because the ui action condition is that the record should be in pending state so if it is not in pending state my uh, you know record will not it will not display my ui action button here in the in the menu or in the uh, 
upper and below section it will not display it so you can see here it is uh, currently the record is approved and that field has been uh, disabled or it is not currently visible so let me go back let's see if i open a new record what will happen okay so let me click here on the new record you can see the status is pending but my buttons are not visible the reason for this is that we didn't select it, the insert so i do not want that button to be visible on my insert so that is why the button is sorry button is not currently visible okay so this is an operation which was done on the server side so this was an operation which was defined on the server side and we you know initiated it and then it was processed on the server side now we'll see the same thing how it can be done on the client side okay so now let me go back to the ui actions let me open this okay so now uh, what we can do so to define this action in the client side the procedure is different so what i need to do i need to just click on the client then you have to check this compatibility list v2 and v3 these are the versions of list so you have to see uh, which uh, service now uh, version you have then you have to define this compatibility so then uh, i will what i will do now when you will uh, you know you have check this client option we'll see here on click there is an option which is enabled so now what i need to do i need to define a function which will run on this particular button so if there will be a button here in the uh, on the context menu or on the form so on that button if i click what should happen which function should run so in the client um, uh, if the client is checked then you will you have to define that function so i would say i will define a function approve leave okay this is my function so here in the script it will also change because this will not work so what i need to do i need to define a function you know this is a normal uh, javascript function approve leave then i would say this is my syntax now what i will do i will define a variable that is value is equal to okay so confirm so i'll this is a normal syntax so are you sure you want to approve okay now if uh, the user will i will ask user that whether he is sure to approve it if he says yes if val double equals to true that means he is sure then i will define okay and uh, let's uh, let's first of all define uh, the other condition so else i would say if uh, the value is true then this will run else this condition will run i will say alert you didn't approved the ticket okay <laughs> so now we have uh, defined the uh, else condition and we will uh, define what will happen like if the user will say yes okay so because we are giving an option to the user to confirm so we will now define what will happen when he will say yes okay now <coughs> to you know uh, update a record in uh, a service now using the client side what we will do we will use a uh, you know method from the glide record which is called g underscore form so uh, you know the bm uh, sorry um, service now has already defined uh, certain methods certain functionalities which you can use in the uh, you know script 
and then uh, you can um, uh, they have basically uh, you know already defined it uh, in a way that you can reuse them so g form is one of them okay so i would say there is a um, there are different methods available in the g form so we will use one of the methods so we will use set value okay so check the syntax in this so this is very important uh, the the syntax of the you know function should be exactly this way otherwise it will not work okay so what we will do with this uh, g form we will set the value of the approval uh, field so we will we have to give the approval name uh, we are sorry uh, approval status field name here okay now please make sure that you are giving the name here not the display name okay so if you open the design of the form or the field you will be able to see the actual name of the field okay so this is the um, internal name which is stored for this particular field and there is no space in it okay so use that name don't use the label name okay now i would say gform.set value this is the field name what value i need to set i would say approved okay so here i have defined the value gform.set value is equal to approved so what it will do it will go and set the value for this particular field now what i need to do i just need to save the record so i would say g underscore form dot save so you can use this function save or submit to save a record using a g form okay so this is it so we will as of now we'll see it i will uh, show you some other thing later but let's know, let's no keep it simple as of now so uh, now we have uh, what we have done g uh, form we have used this glide form object and then what we have used we have two methods set value and save set value will set the value to approved for this field and then it will save the record so let me save this ui action okay now it is saved okay now it is saved so let me go back let me go back to the records okay so let's see if we have any record which is i think this is already approved okay let me create one okay we'll create a new record and then uh, we will see i think it's a bit slow okay so now i will say i would give applying for leave okay now i will define the dates okay to date okay and i would say leave type annual leave the record by default is pending so you can see on uh, insert that approve button is not visible okay i'll say submit now my record is submitted i will just open it okay now you can see here this button is visible okay so what i will do when i will click on this button it will uh, ask me for an option because this is what we have defined in the ui action so we have defined that when i click this button i should get an confirmation message if i confirm then it should work uh, it should approve the ticket so let me click on this showing are you sure you want to approve if i say cancel you didn't approve the ticket so this is what the else part was executed and we are getting this message so whatever we have defined in the else part will uh, got executed because i said cancel okay now what i will do i will approve it click on approve are you sure you want to approve okay so you can see the status has changed to approved the ticket has been approved now the field is gone you cannot see this field now in a, in an actual scenario when you are you know there there is a real time application so um, this approval button will be only visible to the person who is authorized to approve the leave so it will not be visible to everybody so that also we will see in future videos that's called roles so based on the roles you can also define functionalities in the ui action itself if i go back to the ui action 
because this is not not only the thing which we can do with ui action we can do multiple things let me open this and let's go down scroll down so you can see here ui action visibility so you can define this uh, in the ui action visibility that for whom this particular um, you know role should be visible then uh, sorry this particular action should be visible then you can uh, in the required roles you can also define the roles for which the you need to have those roles for this action to execute okay if you don't have those roles the action will not execute okay so this again if you want these buttons to be available in the workspace in the workspace uh, form menu then you can um, check this or run check this okay this you can explore more from your side so now what i am going to tell you is that this ui action it only does not you know uh, can uh, you know um, you know what um, only uh, does this simple thing there is more to it so i'll explain you what exactly this for example let me use one more option so i have a description field on my which is a string field okay or a normal character field so what i will do so i'll say des this is the name of the field again the name should be the name uh, you know name uh, not the label name so he will say description added okay so what i will do i will set a value for description field okay so whatever by default the value is it will add the new value and then let me do one more thing okay let me go to the script okay so what i will do so i will also say alert get value i would use this okay so let's see what will happen with this let me save this okay uh, let me go back to the records let me just create a random record for this because that field is read only so i would say i'll just use a random record submit it then i'll go here now i'll click again on approve are you sure you want to approve okay so it is saying null because there isn't anything in the description field okay so currently what it is doing it is reading the value from the description field but there isn't anything so it is giving me a null value if i would have added something here it would have given me that value here and i'll say okay now we can see the description field has been added with a value so what you know my purpose was to show you that this particular ui action can be used to uh, you know auto fill the fields for example you need to resolve an incident you need to close an incident you need to cancel an incident or any other ticket not only incident or for any other application you need to quickly resolve something you quickly you need to move the ticket to in progress and there are conditions that if you want to move the ticket to in progress you need to add some log you need to define the fields certain fields are mandatory and you know there is a repetitive value for those fields so what you can do you can define an ui action and in the ui action you will get a button here at the top so the moment you click on the button it will update the fields it will update the record so this way you can quickly update the records move the make more you know it will make um, uh, the changes more uh, uh, you know what you say you can do the changes faster and also you will you will you know uh, make use of the ui action in your in the real time scenarios so this is the main aim actually of a ui action that it helps you to add a certain ui on the form through which you can perform certain operations on the so on your uh, table or on your form 
okay so uh, this is it from my side this was an uh, just a basic understanding of the ui action you can explore it more understand it more and then you can see the the real time scenarios where it is used in the applications okay thank you thanks for watching my videos